So, welcome to another episode of Salt Mechanics. This is Life on the Docks here in Norway. Let's just go. So right now I'm sitting here at the office and I'm calculating everything that has to do with an engine sale that we just did and uh, you know it's a lot of prices and uh, things that I need the customer to be aware of and all of that and he is very eager to get this done he's gonna do a few things himself and we are gonna focus on the installation and all of that so it's always exciting to sell one of these Yanmar engines so I actually have the engine here so we can take a look at it. See how nice this engine looks under the lights here. That gray color is just beautiful. And the good thing about this is that after a few years on board, it's not going to look too bad because Yanmar, they have this great spray paint that doesn't really rust. So these engines will look very good for years and it's kind of cool when you check out the oil for the first time and it's all just shiny and nice it's just so nice so this is the gearbox right here down here you can change gears if you will <laughs> if you want the bolt to go forward or backwards and check the oil on the engine here it's just so nice I just love this when everything is brand new and that's the feed pump for the diesel right here diesel filter air intake the heat exchanger you have fresh water or coolant on this engine The mixing elbow, we talked about this before. That's where the exhaust comes out with the water. Alternator right here. And hit the belt. And in here, you have the intake for salt water. And here you have the magnetic stopper for the engine. This is the high pressure pump and the pipes that leads diesel all the way to the diesel injection valves up here and you have three of those because this is a three cylinder engine. And this is where you connect the heater on board, any type of heater. If you have a water heater for your fresh water system or anything like that, you hook that on right here. And we just mounted this now. So it's a good thing that you can actually open and close them. If you want to isolate the fresh water system on the engine. If you have a leak on the external system somewhere, you can just close this and then you'll have all that cooling going on on the engine that you need. That is actually a very, very good idea right there. So we got to put this engine in a boat in not too long, but unfortunately I cannot join Tom. He will do this while I will be on vacation.
Yes! I just love this stuff. I don't know who bought it, but it's here and I'm gonna eat it. But I need a spoon. No. I don't think we have a spoon. All right, well, I can probably drink it. Mm. <coughs> What's going on? <coughs> I'm truly sorry about that. No, you cannot drink stuff like this, obviously. Uh, I think I got one of these suckers in my throat. I think it's stuck. Uh, all right, what I can do, I can probably just eat it like this. Uh, that works. Hmm. All right, so I'm gonna eat a little bit and then continue working. I'm thinking there must be a tool or something I can use to unlock that door. Forklift. forklift, yes, not a truck, it's a forklift. Hopefully this tool right here is gonna do the trick. <laughs> Who's the man? No! No! I did it again! Oh my god! Alright, if I, if I could do it one time, I could... Yeah!
I really love flying this drone and it all really started for me because I wanted to show where I am I really wanted to set the scene so the drone is just a great tool for that but now after a while I just realized that I really love it and I just want to get better and better I'm gonna try not to overdo it with way too long takes and uh, I don't want to bore you guys but it really helps me to set a good vibe in this YouTube channel and if it hadn't been for my girlfriend Heidi I don't think I would have had a YouTube channel at all because she bought the Mavic Air for me at my birthday some years ago and we were on a holiday and I I really didn't want to film anything I, you know it's been a part of my life before but I sort of put a lid on all of that so I didn't really feel like you know filming and editing and flying a drone or anything like that but then I had a Mavic Air in my hands and I was really grateful for that so we we started flying and she was actually the one <laughs> who had to sort of wrap her brain around how does it work where can we fly so she was really on it uh, from day one and I slowly got into it and now I just can't stop this gives me so much joy and the drone is definitely a part of it So I am done with the cleaning, it feels amazing. Now I can go home to my family and celebrate Christmas. By the time you watch this, you have probably already done all of that. So I hope everything was good, hope you had a great Christmas and uh, I will see you next time for whatever here on the docks of Norway. If you haven't yet, please subscribe, give me a thumbs up if you like what you see, it really helps with the algorithm and all of that. And uh, yeah, thank you for watching, see ya, bye.